The decision by Zesco Limited not to sign the bulk power agreement with the Copper Belt Energy Corporation CEC smells a rat. It smells a rat and the whole decision to put the agreement on hold is highly suspicious. We do not want to miss our words. This termination could be political. There have been a lot of assertions that the PF government is very suspicious with some of the people sitting on the Copper Belt Energy Corporation CEC board. We are told in other corridors that some CEC board members might be opposition. Whether opposition or not, these people are Zambians and should enjoy their right of association. CEC has been supplying power efficiently to the mines for over 20 years without much ado. Why terminate the contract today and what will remain of the hundreds of workers that CEC has employed? These are some of the salient questions those who want to kill or cripple CEC should have considered before killing this indigenous company. And if it is true that some people hold divergent views at CEC of what benefit it is to the country, Zambia is a democracy after all. We agree with the Chamber of Mines of Zambia and the Mine Workers Union of Zambia moves that the termination of the bulk power supply agreement is so irrational and we wonder how a failure such as Zesco, known for all its inefficiency, will supply power to the mines in the event that CEC fails to supply power to the mines. But the CEC board has proved to be efficient and effective. Our consolation though is that CEC will certainly find a way out of this mess. The company has attracted and trained a lot of engineers, both home and abroad. CEC is a model of a properly run Zambian firm.